Hey y'all, this is the force of nature, spiritual awakening, and I'm back with another moon sign series. So today we're going to talk about the moon in Leo. And I'm so mad because I already did it and my phone messed it up, but we're going to do it again. So let's first break down the moon. What's the moon? The moon is our feelings. The moon is our emotions. The moon is our mother. It represents our mom. It represents um, water. It rules the fourth house, which is ruled by cancer. And the fourth house is your roots. The fourth house is your family, your home, your domestic life. Um, Leo. Leo is ruled by the sun, which is the opposite of the moon. The sun is ruled by the first house which represents our ego. Um, it's our soul, where the moon is our soul too, but it's more of our instincts, our thoughts, and something more private. So a lot of people are not going to know the moon sign from just seeing you from day to day. It's something that somebody that's close to you will know, you know, or see, because this is where it pops up at. So like I said, the sun is very fiery in nature, and Leo, fire sign. Um, so let's just jump into this. Moon and Leo. Moon and Leo people are very, very confident, and they really need attention. They really need attention. They love being the center of attention, being on stage, and they really give off this aura of like a regal, royal, I'm a king, I'm a queen energy um, when they go out into the world. So let's talk about their mother. Their mother could have been the type of person that's very fun and playful. Um, she could have been very flashy in the way she dressed, um, kept herself up real nice, and smelled real good, you know. And it could have been very easily for you to be able to express how you feel, be able to talk to her um, in an easy way. You know, it could have just been really easy flowing with being able to, to communicate with her, you know, where a lot of times, sometimes it may not be like that, you know. Um, the opposite sign is Aquarius, the moon in Aquarius. And for them, it's not as easy for them to feel like they can express their feelings to people, their mom, their father, you know, grandparents. So with the moon and Leo, they can do this quite well. You know, um, if they're feeling a way, they could say, hey, look, I wasn't really feeling that. I don't like that. And I don't know why the hell you did that. But moon and Aquarius wouldn't be able to feel as comfortable or feel comfortable at all even saying that to their parent, you know, because it, it wouldn't be well welcome and it just wouldn't have went probably the way that it may have went with a Leo moon with feeling like they can express this because they feel like they can express their feelings because they're very passionate, you know, and they're very passionate people with their friends and their loved ones and their partners, you know. They really can express how they feel because it's nothing but a bunch of fire and passion. You see what I'm saying? If you put this together, phew, you might have a goddamn explosion here. You see what I'm saying? Now, as far as being in a relationship with these people, um, friends, relationships, just any interaction of that sort, um, they really love compliments. They love compliments. You know, if they're cooking a meal for you, you know, they would love for you to say, hey, babe, that was real good. Or if you date homie, they would love for you to be like, that was bomb. You know, that was good as hell. You know, um, they really don't like the negative energy. So if they cook something or they fix something around the house or they built up a shelf, you know, um, and you criticize them or you know, make them feel a way, um, this is where you're going to see a different kind of person come out because 
it's going to be like an extreme outburst, you know, like fire, boom, you know, they're going to be like, it's going to turn them off. And it's very easy for them to cut people off. It's very easy for them to cut people off because they're passionate about the things that they do. If they work on a job and they work hard and everything, they want to be appreciated for the things that they have done. They want people in the world to see, like, this is what I did. You know, I'm the shit. Like, I'm the bomb. And you should see that I'm the shit and I'm the bomb. So you should be like, uh, yeah, you the shit. <laughs> you know, so they look at things from that perspective, you know. A lot of them could really just be... And they should just, really, a lot of them could be actors and actresses because they're really good with the spotlight, the limelight, the glamour. You know, they love to dress. They love to be flashy. They, they, they love the excitement. And it's not so much like they, they, you know, um, have, um, what is it? A complex. No, it's not a complex or they're insecure. It's not that because they're very confident. They're very focused. They're very independent. And and just like Aquarius, they're very um, independent and focused and determined as well. But the difference is with them, they really need the compliments. They really need to feel appreciated. If you're going out with somebody that has a moon in Leo, um, they really need these things. They need for the constant compliments. They do not want to be criticized. They do not want you to um, take them for granted. Please don't take them for granted because they're very generous. You know, they have big hearts. You know, they're generous. They will help if they can. Um, and they're very passionate. So whenever you piss them off, you know, they could be very arrogant. They can be very dogmatic, even you know, because to them, they feel like they put in a lot of time and a lot of effort into the way they dress and the way that they look, the way that they present themselves out in the world. So for you to come along and act like this is just a little, eh, all right. Yeah, no, ain't no, eh, all right with them. You know, this is what it is, you know, and um, they will also give you compliments too, you see. So... They really need that. Um, me personally, I have an ex that has this placement and Moon and Leo. And um, they really could just be the drama kings and the drama queens, okay? Because, you know, with him, and I mean, goddamn, he will put on a whole damn show. You see what I'm saying? And this is why I said that you can really be actors and actresses. Because you're so good at this, you know? But he could put on a whole show. And it's like, damn. Like, you could go on and on and on, you know, just so that somebody can notice. And um, just so that you can get the attention that you're looking for, you know? So that's why I say it's very, very important for you to know somebody's um, moon sign when you're dating. Or even if you're friends or family members even. It's really important to notice, you know, and like I said, it's not just your sun, it's not just your moon, it's just not your Pluto. It's everything as a whole in your birth chart that connects it to how it's going to turn out and how it's going to be. Because you can have a moon in Leo in the seventh house and it's going to play out different if we have a moon in Leo in the fourth house. But we're going to get into that. <laughs> Trust and believe we're going to get into that. Um, what else can I say about Moon and Leo? Um, pretty much their mother, she could have been the type of person that was very creative herself, um, and into the arts as well, you know, and you know, a lot of times the things that your parents are, you can also have inside of you, which is a beautiful thing because being creative and into arts and being ambitious, being focused, being determined, you know, and, and confident. A lot of people are not confident, you know, or as confident as you, Moon and Leo, would be, you know. So you have to take that into consideration, too, when you're dealing with your everyday interactions with people because people are not going to be like you, okay? But I cannot stress this enough. 
You know, they do feel like that they are the kings and the queens, the kings and queens of the jungle, the lions, you know. So they do demand this attention. They do demand your respect. They demand it. It's not I'm asking you to. No, I demand this, you see. <laughs> and um, they're really good with, um, you know, being a performer, you know. And I'm telling you, they could be very temperamental. Because they're very passionate about how they feel. And they they know how they feel. You know, they know how they feel. It's not like I'm thinking this is how I feel. You know, like the opposite sign, Aquarius, you know. They use their intellect, you know, opposed to the deep emotion, you know. But with Leo Moon, their emotions is, hmm, their emotions are passionately Fiery, <laughs> fiery, <laughs> fiery, passionate emotions. Okay, so it could be explosive. Okay, when you piss them off, or when it comes down to what they are passionate about, you know. And that's all I can say about Moon and Leo for now. Um, this has been. Force of Nature, Spiritual Awakening, and I will be back with another video soon. The next one we're going to do is going to be Moon in Scorpio, so stay tuned, like and subscribe, make sure you hit that bell. Also, me and my husband, we have an online store, we have plenty of items that you would just love, it's called GrimyGear.com. Um, Sorry, grimygear.com. It's called Grimy Gear and Shopify. Um, you can check that out. Um, also, I cater food. If you need me to do an event for you, a wedding, an anniversary, whatever it is, you can hit me up at Supreme Royale Catering at gmail.com. My husband also does handyman work. So if you need something done, something built, something painted, whatever, you can hit him up at Aron Nesbitt. 90 at gmail.com i will have everything in the description so that you can click on that if you need that and love is love see you on the next one